aim in, in this video is to try and show you the visibility I get from when I've got the hood on. Um, I've had a lot of people asking me what it's like. So um, I've actually tried to make um, videos that kind of show that, but it's actually very difficult because of course my head gets in the way of where the camera needs to be in order to really show you that. Um, but in this video I'm trialling out different ways to show you and I'll try and pop them all on there and gives you an idea of what that looks like. So you can see that the sun visor actually does make it actually darker inside, but I quite like that myself. And you, you can see behind, I'm trying to get my head out of the way so that you can sort of see. I can actually see all that stuff back there. Um, when I'm in the Velomobile, it's quite easy. There goes the dog. And you can see, you can see quite a significant amount behind you. And I'll try and show you the other side as well. I'll move my head. So there's the front. see at the top there the, the bonnet of the DF and uh, it actually keeps all the rain away I don't think I ever have had wet legs from rain um, the only place that some water does come in sometimes is here in, in the um, and I'll try and point at it for you just give me a moment so when you have the over here you have the visor which um, in the very top here sometimes a little bit of water can sort of run down the the top of the um, of the lid the roof and it makes its way through the small gap and also of course um, from the there's this little um, I guess ridge in here and that's meant to pull the water away, but sometimes the wind is strong enough to push the water up and over and in. So it's just raindrops. It'll be, you know, on every five seconds or so. And of course, we have, in order to um, keep the lid on, we have these little, I'll try and show you. We have these little things here, which you can actually pull it up. And I've actually gotten quite good at doing this. And it just clicks in like that. And of course there's one on the other side as well. Well I've now put on my helmet and I'll hop into the Velomobile so you can see what I mean with um, not being able to put the hood on afterwards. So you can see I can easily fit the helmet in and um, you know look around or whatever as I need to and that's not really a problem. Um, but the problem comes when I try and then put on the hood. So when it's like this I can't move my head to the side anymore to see anything. When I have my normal bike helmet, of course, that's not a problem, and I'll show you what I mean.
well. Just so you know, I did have the assist on there. And that's partly because in order to get this camera shot, I had to bandage my head up and I uh, struggled to breathe through my mouth. I'll show you what I mean. Well, you can see from this that it's actually quite difficult for me to breathe, or even to talk for that matter. But it was a good way of getting the camera to be able to see what my eye sees. I tried to have my head a little bit to the left, so that hopefully the camera picks up what my eyes actually see. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, hope to see you later on uh, with another video. Okay, bye for now.